Hey everybody, welcome back to Three Sports. Uh, Coach Dave Weimer's here tonight. We're, we're getting some defensive back drill work done uh, with LJ and with Cooper here, and we're, uh, we're having a good time just getting some work done and wanna be able to demonstrate some drills here for you. As a secondary player, uh, we've been talking about the back pedal and the bail positions uh, out of secondary players, whether they're playing a man coverage or a zone coverage. And in this case, we, we wanna look at one, what do we do when we decide to move forward and go make a play wherever the ball is, okay? So I'll let LJ go first here. He's gonna start in his, his good stance. We talked about earlier, look at his angles there. He looked great, he's got a little stagger in his feet, but we never want it to be too much. The weight is 50-50 on heel to toe, and he looks good right there. He's gonna use zone eyes in this drill, which means he's gonna look inside, some are probably in the backfield, and uh, see what's going on. I'm gonna push him back with four steps. I'll just push the ball back. He'll go one, two, three, four. At that point, I will rip him that direction. Now, when he decides to break and come forward, you have two options here. Number one is you can take a T-step. Go ahead and turn and put the T in the ground right there. Good. T-step meaning that foot comes back in that T position. You really drive off of the inside of your big toe and drive forward. You get your hips opened T-step and you drive to that spot. Now, I'll talk more about this in, a, in another set, but when we drive forward, you should be putting your eyes on your target and driving the outside shoulder of the target in general, okay? That's not always true, but in most cases, if you tell a kid, we're gonna drive forward on that play, here we go, you wanna drive to the outside shoulder, whether it's an out cut by a receiver, a curl, or we wanna fit the outside shoulder of a blocker or a ball carrier, okay? So this is what we'll do here, we'll get you both. I'll go uh, LJ here first, we'll go back, and he's gonna T-step forward to that cone, driving the outside of that cone. Here we go, ready? Slow, bang. Good, T-step, come on, Coop, good. LJ drive the outside of that cone, right? Here we go. All right, slow, bang, T-step, good, right there, okay, now. We'll do the same thing out of bail position. So he's gonna to turn to you. All right, we're gonna shuffle bail out. Now, what do we have here? What do we have? already have built in? The T-step's already there. All right, so let's do it. Here we go. Ready, slow, and stick it. Good, right there, to the outside of the cone. Here we go. Slow, key, bam. Good, right there. Now, it's always a constant reminder in these drills to have them get their eyes in positions. Have them find a target somewhere in the place of where they can look and you know, have an imagination here. Let's see what we're looking for to go ahead and drive this forward, okay? Now, your other option is, is you pedal your way out of a break. So it's nice and slow and we pedal like pedaling a bike. Get our toes and knees and shoulders and we run right out of our break right through the outside shoulder of this case, that cone right there, imaginary person. But we wanna turn, get pointed in the direction we wanna go and pedal out of it with as few steps as quickly as we can. All right, here we go. Slow and bang. Good, right there. Here we go, slow and bang. Okay, good. Now, if I had anything I'd add to both these guys is when we pedal backwards, we wanna get those elbows working a little bit. You can't really do backwards running. That's not what this is. This isn't backwards running. It's a slow read back pedal and they work together. We want to pedal out of it and really drive that first knee forward. All right, so T-step, pedaling out of our brakes with our eyes in good position on our man, where we're driving to, usually the outside shoulder, gives us a chance to play backwards, read the play, boom, there it is. Let's drive it and go finish it. 